guys welcome back to the channel quite a different video this time actually I'm talking about CDs mainly CDs I grew up with many years ago back in the late 90s very much so saw my parents music collection really um, there's a little good portion of CDs in this video here and I thought why not showcase them actually uh, so I've, gr I've grown up with these albums for many many years ago a long time actually so they're sort of part of the furniture now and sort of might as well show them to you anyway, which would be interesting. So, well, further ado, let's go through these all. So, first up we got is the best Tina Turner. Uh, this came out in 1991. This did. Um, Grace's collection. You've got a lot of the great stuff in here. You've got obviously got the best. What love's got to do with it? Cover version of I Can't Stand the Rain. No Bush Simulator Limits on here. Private Dancer. We don't need another hero. Fun Dome from My Max Beyond Fun Dome. Steamy Windows, again, just the normal collection you get from Tia Turner's 80s output, really. Decent collection. And yeah, let's just pull this out for you. Standard DVD, uh, standard CD, excuse me. Absolutely, and yeah, it's pretty good actually. Nice little compilation. I do own this on vinyl now actually, because so, a friend and family gave this to me, uh, this one of this many years ago actually. So yeah, but I've always liked Tia Turner, pretty good artist. So next up we've got is the Water Boys. This is 81 to 90 this is, so obviously you've got the track list on there. I think you've got the, also you've got a little collage of the band back there as well. So yeah, the Water Boys, um, the only sort of main thing I can remember is, you know, the Hall of the Moon, which is sort of the, one of the main big songs that they did uh, many years ago. Um, interestingly. Um, so yeah, also Carl Wallinger went on to do World Party after this one. He was a member of the World Voice for a number of years, for a couple of years he did. And yeah, this is a bit, you know, a bit hard to get into actually. Yeah, so there's the other one, the Water Boys. Pretty good band actually, do enjoy them, of course. Hold on the Moon is probably the obvious hit really, but I think this compilation is probably worth seeking out. So next up we've got is Sam and Garfunkel, Bridge Over to Water from 1970. Um, this is quite an old CD, this is quite one of the early ones, an old Columbia. I've had, again, these CDs I've had for I've been in my, heart, my, my possession, my family's possession for years. So these are from, you know, my parents' stuff really. Um, yeah, 25th anniversary, nice price. It's a really good album actually, I really do enjoy this album. Of course you've got Bridge Over to Water, Tell Track, Cecilia, great song. You got Baby Driver as well, which was used in the film the same name. Um, yeah, Kid the Cus Kid the Customer Satisfied. That's another deep cut. That seems to be well done. The Boxer as well. The Only Boy Living in New York. There's a lot of good songs in this. Actually, well known ones. Indeed. Again, pretty good. Again, the discs are a bit. The CDs are a bit. Because uh, they've been seen for a while, actually. So yeah, that's what Old Columbia. On that one, but also. There's another Simon and Garfunkel one I can show you, and that is The Greatest Hits from 1972, 73. I think 73 this came out. Um, obviously, it's another one on what you see these in shops everywhere, really. You know, it's been reissued countless times. You see it in supermarkets as well, in Morrison's stuff. They still sell this particular album, you know, just like this. This is quite an old, this is like the original CD version of it. This one, you obviously you get Mrs. Robinson on this one. You've also get again Bridge of Trouble Water as well. There's some live stuff as well on these ones as well. I think the you saw sort of, they don't really list them as live versions, but they are live so I think from like 969 some of these actually are from. Um some people sort of think the album was a bit uneasy at that time. Really you know like you have studio songs then you just include live versions of songs really. Oh yeah sound obviously you sound sound of silence on here if you if you can read the track listening because yeah we can really read it from this bit here so I think it doesn't really go well. Oh, well, you can check on here, of course. I'm a rocks on here. Scar Scarborough Fair is here. Home of Bound, America is on here. Again, just a decent slash of songs, but not the one you probably expect to get because there's a lot of live versions. They sort of mix the flow, really, indeed. But decent. Grace hits. Next up, we've got is. 
on that front. So next one I've got is Tasman Archer, Great Expectations. This came out in 1992. There's 92 on here, so 1992. Don't know much about this album really, Tasman Archer, probably just a great solo artist really. Uh, nothing else to really say about, about her, but it's just here in the collection really. But there we go. I don't have any standard songs. If you like, if you're familiar with this album, just let me know and comment down below if you think it's a good album. Indeed. Next up we've got is Brian Adams, Wake Up the Neighbours from 1991. Obviously it's original, original one includes, includes everything I do, well, everything I do, I do for you, and Can't Stop This Thing, this thing We Started. Obviously, big album. You know, I do own this on Vine as well, this album. I got it many years ago from a local store, which is now closed a couple of years ago now. Uh, but obviously it's on here. Indeed, absolutely. Uh, yeah, not much to say, just Brian Adams, really. So, there we go. Here we lose some news. Sports, quite a well-known one, of course. I do own this on Vine as well. I recently got it, actually. I think last year, I think, from... An ox, I think. There was something from my last time. P. I thought, why not get this? Because I do have grown up this. I've grown up this album, of course. Obviously, you got stuff like I want a, I want a new drug on here, and all that sort of stuff. Again, pretty good. Han Soul, as well. Does include stick, old stickers on here as well. Uh, just old, really. Interestingly, you know, indeed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good collection. Cranberries. No need to argue from 1994. Really good Irish band. They are really good. Um, interesting. Obviously the big hits zombie, Zombies on here. Massive hit for them on this one. Uh, but really good. I do own the debut album on vinyl, which is actually I really do love actually. That's a pretty good one. But this one, again, really good. Obviously Dolores or, or Rod and Sally passed, Sally passed away a couple of years ago, of course. So, it's quite well now. You know, obviously can't be the no more, really. But for the time, pretty good. Absolutely. Talking Heads, Once a Lifetime. This is the complete uh, 992 this came out in. Uh, it's a bootleg. It's a, it's a bootleg copy, this is. Um, I do own a, a natural copy of this somewhere. Really, in my CD, in my big, massive CD collection, wherever it is. Yeah, but this is the first, this is, you know, a parity copy bootleg copy of it, you know, that's happened for many years. I've had this for a long time actually. Obviously you've got stuff like Cycle Killer, um, Monster Lifetime, obviously, Tame to the River, some live versions from Stomping and Sense album. Um, Wild Wild Lives on here. Um, so there's quite a few, again, and quite a few, because it was, I think this is a condensed version of what's, I think the main one you can probably think of getting is a Sand and Vaseline. You know, but this is like a condensed version, just filled with the normal hits and some stop making sense tracks on here. Well, again, it's decent. It's just a blank CD and just like made a full copy of artwork, really. Status Quo, Ain't Complaining, 1988. So, yeah, I do want some Status Quo in my collection, of course. Um, I don't really, I haven't listened to this one as much. Hang on, what's this? <laughs> Why is that in there? I never knew that was in there. Um, Obviously, here we go. Ain't complaining on here. Why is that in there? I have no idea. I didn't just realize till now. But ain't complaining, of course. There's Crow. Obviously, uh, Rick Parafit passed away. I think in 2016, actually. Francis Ross is still going strong. He is. I think he's still 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 doing Crow. Of course, with just him, really. And maybe a few uh, people as well. Who knows? See how it turns out. Uh, the mission. Uh, what do you call that? Um, Carve Disney. Carf Disney, I don't think I don't even pronounce that. Um, Christ, uh, the quality on this thing, the print, printing is not that good. I think this came in the 90s, 94, I think. I don't know, actually. It'll probably say recording. Uh, Mission, they're pretty good, actually. When this came out, 1990, this came out. Of course, yes. And I've got a few good songs in here as well. Mission are pretty good, they are. Uh, nothing, nothing I can really think of this on here actually, so. Uh, no, I can't really think of anything, but this is a mission pretty good though, if you're interested. Chris Rea, Auberge. 
Um, that's nine one. This came out. Um, Chris, Chris Rea, Obviously, I do want another album here. So I think it's on, it's on the beach from nineteen eighty six. I do want. It's quite good actually. You know, obviously, great voice. It has a very sort of bluesy voice to him, really. Especially his later life, really. Yeah, but a pretty good songwriter himself. Um, there's two copies of this actually. I do own. So, or oh, somewhere. Yeah, Bob. Obviously, the first one. Really, East West Records, of course. Yeah. Give a bit of Chris Rea for you. Fleetwood Mac, Rumours, obviously massive, massive album in 1977. You've got all the hits there as well, if you can pause the video. Absolutely, just an amazing album. Well, you know, regard it as the best Fleetwood Mac album of all time. You know, sold millions of copies, it's still selling well, people still love this album. Everybody, I think everybody owns this album, really. So, there we go. Pretty interesting. Also, now we've left Fleetwood Mac yet, we've got also got Greatest Hits from 1988. Um, there's a selection of good stuff as well, so it's basically everything from the Book and Nick's era, really. Uh, so everything from uh, the self titled album from 1975 up until Tango of the Night from 1987. Um, and two new songs as well, which are included for the six, from, the, from that, at the time, the six piece, which included Billy Burnett and Rick Vito in the band. And yeah, it's a pretty... And, uh, pretty good actually. Well, again, that's all worth checking out, really. You know, that's a genius accomplishment people tend to go for, really. Again, make sure good stuff. Rihanna's on there, big loves on there. You know, say you love me, of course. Seal, that's nine one. Um, pretty good album, actually. Uh, Seal's debut album. Look at that. I do want the vinyl version of this as well. Again, it's a pretty good album. Crazy, obviously, it's the obvious hit, really. If you if you know yourself, um, but again. Really good, please by Trevor Horns, NT, ZTT Records, and yeah, just a very good album, really. You know, of its time, really. Still, still, still going round here, of course, still going strong as ever, you know. But there we go. Obviously, he did Kiss from the Rose from Batman Returns, of course. David Gray, White Ladder. I showcased White Ladder beforehand on vinyl. Great album, this is. You know, you've got some great songs here. Babylon's on here, please forgive me. This year's love. It's a really good. He's a very good songwriter. He is, you know, and it's obviously, I think he's still going around, but he's not very much noticed as well at the time. Uh, East West Records, NHT. I think this came out originally in 1998. This came out. I think this is like the 2000 version from Dave Maddox Albert label. I think. Obviously, there. Mm -hmm. But it's a good album. Probably, if you want to see, seek out David Gray, get this album. Definitely. You know, it's it's just wonderful. You know, there's something magic about that album. Grace Jones, I like this compilation. This is so. This is from 1985. This is. Excuse me about that. Um, Island Masters. I think these are sort of around the time this did. I think it's all the same things. You know, what else we going here? Private Life, Love, Love Is Drug, Rock's Music Cover. You know, Slave Trade Rhythms on here. Pull up to the bumper. Levina Rose from her debut album, which I do own on vinyl. I do. So, yeah. Again, this has been the house, again, for years. Again, pretty good stuff. That's Grace Jones on that one. Uh, Meatloaf, Dead Ringer. So, his second album. Um, with, I think his second album with Jim, Jim Steinman. Feel Out, Dead Ringer for Lovers on here as well. You know, More Than You Deserve. Again. A pretty decent, a good album. I do want some fan as well. He's going to be a friend of the family, of course, along with Bata Hell. Again. Which is there, really. So that's Meat Love Dead Ringer, 1981. Next up we've got is Morrissey, Suede Head. The best of Morrissey, for this is from 1997. So, interesting fact about this. Um, so I grew up with Morrissey's solo work first before I heard about the Sniffs. Um, I didn't find about the Smiths until I was about a teenager, really. I think it was about 16, 17 since I'd looked at the Smiths. But I remember Morrissey from his solo work, of course. Uh, great stuff on here. Of course, Suede Head, Tomorrow is absolutely fantastic. That's one of my favourite Morrissey songs of all time. Everything's Like Sunday, that's entertainment. The cover by um, Dumb Richard Dunn by the Jam, obviously. My, uh, my Love Life is brilliant. Interesting Drug, our uh, Frank. You know, last the international... Uh, in, international fame, you know, famous international playboys. Excuse me about that. Uh, November Spot of Monster. The more you ignore me, the closer I get. Again, this is just fantastic. Nineteen tracks. 
um, again, just brilliant is Really good stuff. Fantastic compilation, you know. Because I only have this in a um, seven inch single every day is like Sunday, really. But this is really worth getting, you know. I think there might be some better ones out there, but for me, this is probably the best greatest hits to do with Morrissey, really. Just capture something. Unless you get the the Parlophone singles um, box set or something. But if you want to condense just put with some normal hits on here, this is worth getting. There's a vinyl version of this as well, seeking out. That's way overpriced, really. But it's nice seven, so I can probably like see why. 19's, 90 pressings. Uh, just something else. More Grace Jones, Slave to the Rhythm. So this is the Slave to the Rhythm album. Of course, Jones, the Rhythm, Frog and the Princess, of course. Um, not really, not really, not all remembered. I fully remember this album, really, but. It's just here. Interesting cover though. Grace Jones on there. How interesting. Uh, what else have we got? Hollies. 20 Golden Greats. Uh, this originally came out in 1978. Not sure when the CD came out, but it's just... It's just here. Really? Again, Hollies are pretty good actually. You know, obviously, P and Heavy is my brother. There's actually quite a lot of songs. I actually listened to this recently. And actually, it's a, re it's a really good Grace Hits album. Really, actually, really good. There's a lot of really good songs they did. At that time, I think later in the 70s, I think, in the late 60s, early 70s, they actually really got some good songs out at that point. You know, um, 60s, yeah, a bit mixture, 60s, 70s, late 60s. Quite a good mixture on, on that one, actually. It's probably worth checking out. You can check on iTunes if it's on there. It's on Spotify, actually. So if you listen to Spotify, give this a little go. A very interesting cover, though, of a power station and seagulls and whatever. And you've got a few pictures of the band on there as well. So, yeah. Just interesting, really. But the Hollies, 20 Golden Greats, that's probably worth checking out. What one else? Uh, Jerry Rafferty. Jerry Rafferty, yeah. This came out in 1998, this did. Uh, Big Streets on here, this is a really good, really good one, actually, because I do own an album of his called Night Owl, which ends on that one. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Just like that. Yeah, pretty good singing he is actually, so I appreciate that. Uh, Squeeze, greatest hits. <laughs> Quite an interesting album this is. Uh, 92 this came out, 92. Obviously it's got the well-known songs, Take Me, I'm Yours. Call for Cats, Off the Junction up here. Uh, yeah, just a really good, sorry, I'm just trying to get in position a little bit. And yeah, just a really good album. Absolutely, yeah. Probably worth checking out. If you like Squeeze, you know, obviously, uh, one of, I think, obviously, the most famous one out there is Jules Holland, really. He's done various stuff like solo work, presenting stuff as well. He did the Tube and, you know, Later Live, of course, which still, still does anyway. Does his, you know, New Year Hoot and Annie and everything else. Yeah, but Squeeze, probably check them out, actually. You know, they're actually a really good band, they are. More Brian Adams, The Best of Me, so it's a compilation album. In this packaging, which I've a few CDs I've had, I've seen, I've I've owned, have come in the, like this, you know, this recycling packaging in a foam box. You get the, nothing at the end of this here. It just contains a CD, really. I don't know if it's it's like um like a foam um casing. Pretty interesting, actually. There we go. Obviously, you got you got the hits in there. If you can pause it there. Yeah, this came out in ninety. Nine? Yeah, 1999 this came out. More Brian Adams. Okay. Here's another one. This is another the same faction. This is Paul Weller. Uh, modern Classics, The Greatest Hits. So it's basically The Greatest Hits of Paul Weller, of course. Interestingly enough, this is still sealed. Hasn't been open for years. It's open up. It, when did this came out? Uh, 98? It's about late 90s, this is. This, this has remained... Uh, Unsealed, really, you know. Obviously, it's it's got this like um, here you go. So it's got that recycling package on it, you know. Music, music that music that won't cost the earth. Interesting. Someone's ripped out there. That's probably from Morrison's or Asda, whatever that came, this came from. Obviously, you got its grace hits on there. Wonderful. But it's still sealed. That is. That's never been opened. Funny enough. Up next. Bruce Springsteen, 995, this came out. Um, great hits. Wonderful. 
got a lot of good stuff on there as well. I Bruce Springsteen. Uh, pretty good stuff on there. Open it up. And same thing, quite an iconic pose that is, you know. You know, people think of Born in the USA with just that sort of thing. But that's a really good, good pose, really. Always pose on the front cover of Born to Run. Probably think that's a better one, really. Uh, here's another one. Um, Coldplay, Parachutes. This is still sealed as well. 2000 this came out. Um, again, hasn't been open for about 21 years. 21 years. My God. And, yeah. It is a good album, though. Really good. Because you've got Yellow on there as well. You know, sort of the main hit on there. Um, yeah. It's just here, really. It's still sealed. It's a bit dusty, though. But it's been, it's been sealed for years. It's been played. I think my mum got it. She never just bothered, really. David Gray again. This is a century. So this is his debut album from 1993. Uh, I think this is actually a reissue. This is this is a reissue from 2001. I think actually to come to after the success of White Ladder, they reissued his back catalogue. They did. So this is his first, obviously his first one. It's more acoustic. This is this is more acoustic driven. Really, I think his his next album he went for a more rocking instrumental version maybe more instruments on this one but this is just him on guitar pretty good album actually interesting for, just a photo of him looking a bit yeah. blank disc a bit black as well uh, but there you go century ends david gray interesting find on that one Alanis more set jagged little pill everyone heard this album one of the most important albums in that 95 i do want some vinyl as well absolutely on a reissue it's still a fantastic album Really good. It contains still uh, its sticker. Absolutely. Obviously, you've got. You learn. You got the song "Ironic" on this as well. Hard, you know. Hard in my hand in my pocket. I've always said hard. It's hand in my pocket. You ought to know and that sort of stuff. Again, fantastic album. Really good album. This is. If you've heard "Ironic," definitely it's become it's sort of become a meme or sort of a internet thing now. But this album is definitely something. Definitely something. Fun Boy 3. Really say something. You're the best of Fun Boy 3. Um, that's 98 or 97 this came out. When did this come out? Um, let me find out. 97 this came out. Hmm, interesting. Near tw 24, um, it's not like near 24 years old this thing is. Interesting. Obviously it's got them on the back there. Obviously, it's got the uh, the song. Where do you find it? Me want to do. I think that's what it is actually. It's the thing with Banana Ram Ram as well. It's all well known. Uh, that's just on there. Pretty interesting. Wow, well, late nineties artwork. There, uh, it's inter it's out there. It's just interesting. This is a where it came out. In my hundred, so it's a hundred. One of those things in my hundred anniversary thing range or something. Simple Minds, Glittering Prize, this is just a compilation, this is. Good stuff for Warfront, Don't You Forget About Me, Alive and Kicking. Good songs in here. All the things that all the things that she said. Really, really good song. I appeared in GTA 5 that did. Um, yeah, just a really good one. I do want a Simple Minds album. That is um what do you call it? It's Sparkles and Rain, it's called. It does have Waterfront as the, as the song on it as well. But uh, yeah. Good compilation. Uh, this came out in. Do -do, what does it say? Probably doesn't say anywhere else. That's the thing. Um, oh, God. 992. So this is quite an early 90s album, that is. What else have we got? Def Leppard. Now, I'll try and re redo this actually. So, Hysteria. 1997. Good album. More on the mainstream. It's a sort of breakthrough album, this is. I think people probably think Pyromania is a big album, of course. But this one sort of catapulted them really into like, major stardom. It's a good album. It is. Still got its old Astro Price on it as well. 13.29 for that. Oh. Quite an old one. It's, it's all breaks it does. It's, it's, bit it's been like this for years. You know, it's been in my dad's possession for years. So yeah, it's a bit... Yeah, no, I'll fix that. It's all, uh, usually I get these like this sometimes, you know, it's just like... You know, because it's quite old. Hysteria, old disc really. Same old stuff. Just put that back in together. Just like that, you know. That's the thing, we have old CDs. The cases don't last long sometimes, you know. 
either get a new version of it or get a vinyl version or something like that, you know, unless they, because they don't get damaged as much. Yeah, you can put it back in there. There we go. That's just, so that's Hysteria. Going back to this one, this is Adrenaline Night 2. Obviously, features the hit single Let's Get Rocked. Of course, on there as well, 992. No, don't know much about this album, really. Uh, but there we go, 992. So, a Def Leppard release. That's a Def Leppard for you. Next up, we've got is the Stranglers. Greatest hits, 1977 to 1990. Pretty good, actually. Really good stuff. Stranglers are actually a really good band. Indeed. Obviously, you get Golden Brown on this one. You've also get a couple of co couple songs as well. If you could see, sorry about that, if you could see. Nine Six Tears is on there. Normal Heroes is on this as well. Skin Deep, which I think is a really good song. Uh, Walking By, which is the Diane Warwick song, I, if I'm mistaken. 1990, of course, this came out. Um, with some epic records. Absolutely. That's on there. Really good, actually. Strangers are really good. Here's another old one. Uh, Europe, Final Countdown. Obviously, it contains the Final Countdown and everything else. Don't know much, much about this album, really. It's just been there for years in a red casing as well, interestingly. Funny enough, there's no disc in it. <laughs> Where's the disc gone? Hmm, I wonder. Be somewhere. Uh, but you've got the case in there, interesting enough. That's Europe, Final Countdown. ZZ Top, Greatest Hits. That is, which has come out from 1992 as well. Nine, another 1992 release. ZZ Top are really good. Pretty good. I do want the Eliminator album, I do. Um, yeah. Just a lot of good stuff from the old stuff like L.A. Grange, Give It Up, She's Some Glasses. Again, Tush is on here as well, Strap Just Man. You know, again, pretty good stuff. White Snake, 1987, this came out. And again, it says White Snake 1987 on this. Uh, we got a re-version re of Here I Go Again. Just everything else, really, that sort of thing. Um, again, it's the original CD release of as well. Interestingly, not much different there. White Snake. Uh, U2, the best of 1980 to 1990 from 19, from right 1980 to 19, to 1990 from 1998. Picture of Warboy in there. Uh, pretty good selection, of course. Um, so most. So we just come, you know, most of it so comes from around home, really. That's the sweetest thing. I think that's released really a single, actually, to promote the album, if I'm not mistaken. You too. Next up, we've got is Kate Bush, The Sensational World, 1989. This is. Um, parts of it are good. One song I don't like is this one's work. That's one of my worst favourite songs ever. Kate Bush is good. I do want Lionheart on vinyl. She's a good singer, it's just that some of the songs are not really that very impressive to my taste, really. I know this one's work is not really the one, because I don't really like it, it's too sad for me, really. Um, yeah, there's one thing, there's one of the songs you can probably not do know about that. That's interesting, so I'm Kate Bush again. Simply Red, Grace Hits, obviously on here as well. On the back of the years, Moist Two Time Dimension, um, pretty good stuff, obviously. Indeed, yep. This came out in 96, this did. So that's another 96 album. Micah Mechanics is next. This also came out in 1996, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Grace Hits, Mike Groford's band, you know, in between Genesis, of course, his solo work. Really good. Got Living Years on here as well, so yeah, it's just. Very good, a little decent compilation on there from Mike Mechanics. Clash, the singles from 1999. Clash here really goes well, really good stuff on here. Slash, you know, Whitesmith and Hammersmith Palace. You know, I Fought the Law, London Call In. Rock the Kabash. Should I Stay or Should I Go? Again, just really good. Good artwork as well. No, this is England, though, strangely. But I think it was sort of disowned at that point, really. You know, they never really included stuff from Cut the Crap on it, but interesting enough. You know, it's not really a good album, really, but I think that song should have benefited to be on that, on that compilation, really, for any of the compilations. Phil Collins, Hits. 
Yep, yeah, indeed. Ninety-eight. This came out. Yeah, indeed. Again, obviously, all the hits on there. If you had to pause that. Beige disc. And also, you get your stuff on there. Wonderful. That's Phil Collins for you. Bit of a maligned fella, really. Uh, T Rex. Mark Boland T Rex. Uh, came out, This is 2001, this came out. Um, again, a lot of good stuff in here as well. Lives of Gas. You know, I like Tabuki, Cosmic Dancer, Wide Right Swong. There's a lot of good stuff on here as well. People like T Rex, really, don't they? Indeed. Also, you get a little thing from Spectrum Music as well. How interesting. They have a gold disc as well, interestingly. That's nice. Pretty good. Next up we've got is uh, the happy, uh, the, what think, the Beloved Happiness, 1990. Quite an obscure one, really. Um, the Beloved, I think they're more dance orientated, really. I think, like, so, like, again, it's very dance type music at this time. 1990 this came out. Um, interest, I just had a little listen to it, of course. I think back at the time, actually, because they really knew about this album. Oh, they're a pretty decent band, they're okay. Uh, just very dancey and all that sort of stuff. Interesting artwork, really. Which is there, really. East West album. And finally, we finish off with The Sex Pistols, Kiss This. Compilation album. Uh, probably, probably the first in my introduction to um, Sex Pistols, really. Um, quite some interesting artwork as well. Ugh. I remember seeing this as a kid and think, oh God, because my mum was a fan of The Pistols. Always tell me, like, you know, they were quite revolting in places and also disgusting. Have a very strong uh, reputation for that, really. Um, very good. This came out in 992, this did. Um, all the songs from Nevermind the Box are on this on this CD, of course. Um, you can also you have some stuff as well from The Great Rockable Swindle and a couple of the B-sides, and the B-sides as well, on that one, actually, which is probably one of the best compilations, really. People say Jubilee is better. I'd probably say this is better bear compilation or flogging a dead horse or something. Again, just really good. 992 this came out. Absolutely. Just a really good album. They're a really good band, they are. Obviously, in terms of music, very soul, pop produced. But again, pretty good. Of course, you've got John Landon there, aka Johnny Rotten, Sid Vicious, or John Beverly, of course, and yeah. All that sort of stuff. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of an interesting one, but. Yeah, I'm willing to show it to you. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.